All right, so woman wisdom from the Rebbe for today. So this week's parsha we have the binding of Isaac, Akedas Yitzchak. Now on the verse which says that Hashem told Avram Avinu not to actually slaughter his son, says Rashi that Avram Avinu was explaining to God what he meant. Originally God said that through Yitzchak he will have a great nation. Yet here God told him to bring him up to a mountain. So that's why he was confused. To which Hashem said, I didn't contradict myself. I told you to take him up as an offering. Now I'm telling you to take him down. Seemingly this Rashi is not understood. Seemingly this question should have been much before when Avram Avinu was originally told. And also, why did Avram say that he's explaining his question? He didn't even ask a huge question. He should have said, I have a huge question for you, God. So the explanation is that Avram Avinu didn't doubt God for a single moment. What was going on over here is that Avram was explaining himself why he wanted to give Yitzchak a little cut. The explanation was that Avram Avinu was originally told that Hashem would make a great nation out of Yitzchak. And he believed that 100%. Then Hashem told him to bring him up as an offering. Avram Avinu said, I don't understand it, but if God said it, I'm sure God will figure it out. And he brought him up as an offering up on the Mizbeach. Now that God said, take him down, Avram Avinu said, I finally understand. It's not a contradiction. It's just that I'm not deserving of actually slaughtering my son. But let me at least be able to fulfill both commands of God by having my son not be killed, but have his blood sprinkled a little bit on the Mizbeach. That way he will be brought up as an offering, yet not totally destroyed. To this, Hashem responded, no. I just was testing you to see if you're actually God-fearing. Now I see you're God-fearing. I wasn't contradicting myself. I told you to take him up, and now I'm telling you to take him down. So in truth, Avram never doubted God for a single moment and believed whatever he said. L'chaim, l'chaim.